life away. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Do you need assistance? Please. I'm feeling tired these days. Oh, it's nice. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. Goodbye, young man. Actually, because it was ill. How are you? Boy? I'm not your... Goodbye, young man. Me, I'll not die in some piss stinking alley. Okay. Breaking worse than a week old lamb. Go to another quest, which is also here. First main quest map. I bet it's this guy we were warned of. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. No, there I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. What? There is no Dorothy it looks Crane like here. Oh, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite. Oh, it's this guy. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. What? To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. I must insist, sir. Please let me see Nurse Crane. I have no time for you, sir. Go around. Our quest is short. The other right way around. Wow. Try to open. I didn't try to open the door. It was red. No, you came closer and it wasn't red anymore. It's huh. locked, all right. Okay. We'll open no, from I the other understand. side, so I guess it's his back door. I'm doing this. Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, Barrett. You pray one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We Is it cuts? No. I prefer not to give you another beating, Barrett. Welcome, sir. Please, take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse, then? I always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. So she's trying uh. to help her fellow immigrants. Why would that make her a villain? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no. Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. How is business around here? Business? I had no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever. 
madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Goodbye for now, Mr. I wanted to trade. Fancy you never. Right then. Show me what you have. Hmm. It's actually not bad. Or no. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some. A colossus joke of And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I'll know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Have you heard of a Dorothy? Could you please? According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. May I ask what you do around here? I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the wet boot boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Survival. You survive at any cost, even at the expense of others. Perhaps that's just the law of nature. I don't care what you think, sir. I'll do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Uh. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I've known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against the wet boot boy. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Hmm. Without making excuses for him, it's safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. Goodbye for now, Mr. Lewis. Did we get another hint? Mm. Where the fuck is he? Huh? What the fuck? Okay, 
then. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm Christina. not looking for what you're selling. I guess she's a Polish like whore. A few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor, Doctor Reed. All right then, but be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Why Polish? Do you know Nurse Dorothy? Of course, she has this dialect. Maybe she's a Russian. Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her. But I know her name People is Dorothy Kachinesa. Oh. She came from Romania like me Romania. and many others. Yeah. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London. And you could be exposed. Or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you as She's a whore, she probably has all the illnesses. Mm. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. <laughs> if it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. You can put your own life in danger, that's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger, too. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> if you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Understandable. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I pain. have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. Mm. I don't judge. I, don't I always <laughs> thought I was the judge. master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control of. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Family. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. She has an ill she mother or children. I uh, will do it later. Uh, Press. The White Chapel, I guess. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Look, I is am always happy father. to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought. Oh myself. God. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. So, you're not exactly a fan of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. So, it's maybe not a bad fact. Why do you hate Nurse Crane nurses. more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. Uh. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. Well, you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. 
Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. What do you mean when you say that I'm All quite a you? I am. But the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. Tell me, Tobias, what exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. But where do you put them in? Purification by fire has proved useful. But where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small-time Torquemada, the Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool? Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. More and more priests, stupid. What do you mean? All quite a I am. Uh, what do you mean? All quite a you. Well, what do you be? I have heard it. Good evening, Mr. Whittaker. It's Father Whittaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? No, controllerless connection. Come on. Maybe just let's charge. No. And it wouldn't be... Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of Corrupted city. Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grow night after night. <coughs> you sent him on some holy crusade near the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. 